Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to register your domain and set up your site hosting on HostGator. So you go to HostGator.com and then you choose which package. If you only want to have one blog, you can start out with the Hatchling plan. If you think you might want to add other blogs to your portfolio within the year, you can start with the baby plan. But we'll just start with this Hatchling plan. So you click on sign up now, and then you can either register a new domain, or if you already have a domain, you would just put it in this section but we're going to act like you're starting from scratch so you enter your domain remember that you should have checked on a site like register.com to see if it was available so let's just make up one now the new blog a frog all right and then you would click to say to see what you would want it to be a .com I recommend .com if you can get it. Okay, no one has that, so it has added it to my um, bill. And so it'll also give you different extensions, and you can choose if you want to add those. And then for $9.95 a year, you can add domain privacy protection that's a personal choice. If you're a private person, you might want to add it. But for now, we're just going to unclick it. And then you'll choose your hosting plan. We're going to start with the Hatchling. Now, if you get it for multiple months, you'll get a percentage off. But since the reason why we're doing HostGator is to see if it's what we really want, we can just start off at, a, off at a month. You make up your own username. I'm just going to make up one KVHJG. And then, you know, it gives you some guidelines. And then you add in your security pin. Next, you would enter your billing information. And then you will go down and see if there were any additional services that you wanted to include. There are other free security and backup plugins. So you don't need to get them, but you can. It's your choice. There are also some paid options. But for now, I'm just going to unclick everything. All right, there's also the option for constant contact email. I don't recommend that. I will be doing a post on my recommended email services in the future. So look forward to that. And then there's also the choice of your email with your domain the thing about that is that you already get your email branded with your hosting package so you can do that later if you want Okay, so then you'll enter, well, it'll enter your coupon code for you already.
and then you review your order details. And you click that you've read and agreed to the terms of services. Then you check out. You'll receive um, an email with your site hosting information. And you'll need that information to log into your cPanel in order to install your WordPress. But really, that's all it takes to register your, register your domain and set up site hosting.